overall goal of this procedure is to measure left ventricular, or LV, pressure in late embryonic and neonatal mice. First, the equipment is prepared. A needle connected to a pressure transducer must be aligned with an ultrasound probe. Then, a mouse is prepared and its LV is imaged by ultrasound. Then, the needle is advanced into the LV lumen and pulsatile pressure measurements are recorded. Ultimately, the results show systolic pressures in late embryonic and early neonatal mice using this ultrasound-guided fluid-filled catheterization. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods, like servo-null pressure measurements or solid-state catheters, is that pressure can be measured in late embryonic and neonatal mice in a robust and repeatable manner. Generally, individuals new to this technique will struggle because it is challenging to maintain the orientation of the embryo in the embryonic sac, as the embryo will rotate with application of the ultrasound probe. Depending on the stage of the mouse to be studied, select and fill a probe with distilled water. Place the probe in the adjustable stand of the ultrasound system. Adjust the stand so it provides an LV long axis view of a mouse mounted to the platform with the LV apex pointed towards the injection arm. The pressure system consists of a fluid filled pressure transducer, bridge amplifier, data acquisition system, and lab chart, a software package. A 20 milliliter syringe filled with 10% heparinized saline is used to flush the tubing. Make sure that bubbles do not get trapped in the tubing or over the transducer. The tubing to the transducer is connected by three-way stopcocks. Lure